So the big question for us right now is, how did we figure out that there was something called absolute zero? What, what was it that led to this concept? And it turns out that in the 1800s, uh, a fellow by the name of Jacques Charles, a French scientist, uh, did an experiment. And in this experiment, he put some gas into a cylinder. And what he found was that for every degree of centigrade that the temperature dropped, the volume dropped too. And he didn't have the capability of cooling gases down a whole lot, but he was capable of getting to the point where when he saw this, he said, look what's going on. As I cool this gas down, the volume goes down, and what's gonna happen when I get to a zero volume? What would the temperature that's predicted be? And he came up with the astonishing conclusion at the time that if I cooled the gas down to minus 273 degrees C, the volume would be zero. And as we've gotten better apparatus, we found that that's true. The gases that are noble, helium and hydrogen, argon, the noble, actually not, not hydrogen, helium, argon, neon, where the gases are chemically stable and don't want to combine with anybody else, that those gases obey this law perfectly and that if we could cool them down to minus 273 degrees centigrade or zero Kelvin, the volume would be zero. That's how absolute zero was predicted over 200 years ago by a scientist doing an experiment, seeing that it was a very good linear relationship and saying, hey, what's this mean?